Yeah. It was not hard. It was like seven bucks. It was a part time job. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Change your sound. No. no. Are you speech docking us or no? Just watching. Mm, do you guys want to particularly be on the speech dock? Well, it'd be. I mean, it'd, you don't have to. It'd be better because then I can like read your cards. We but want if, the least accurate decision possible. Least accurate decision. She said it. If your cards are really bad, then maybe you don't want me to be on the speech dock. Too. Can you just call for it afterwards? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Are you worried that Bob will steal your IPV app? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Highly worried. Because you don't have space. Right. You good? Yes. Will you guys call slow and clear? I affirm my morality, offer consent, defense of language, the role of the judge is an educated member of academia, to reject oppressive ideology, and argumentation in favor of critical examination of oppression check bonus. The exercise of powers and conduct and interactions, funding, mention of power, operates to set forth educational outcomes. We need to develop critical awareness of power, financial power, operating in the institution of relations of power. People who participate in the institution suddenly equal subjects to the responsibility of the educational government of personal knowledge, and ways to know and constrict human capacities. Takes out teacher, I find it defines what it means to be the judge's way, so it comes from a sincere assumes the paramount viewpoint of the judge, which only just explains and social inclusion is a power question to too. Uh, epistemology, it specifies who are knowers and means by which complete knowledge can be adjudicated. Epistemology is fundamental to the premise, critical impact, and the of objectivity and subjectivity, finite to the comedy that in this process of language understanding inclusions reaches. Takes out uh, this A, takes out T, inclusions, prior question, creating norms, and peace. One D, the, the, the state should only care about what most people's interests are, so that's key to inclusion. Plan text, the United States federal government ought to be in the private ownership of handguns for individuals convicted of misdemeanor level stalking crimes, individuals convicted of intimate partner, violence, and dating partner. Enforcement through mandatory confiscation, McDonald's 15. Federal legislation provisions prohibit anyone convicted of stalking crimes owning a gun. The legislation has bipartisan support in Congress. Protect people in dating relations by adding the words dating partner. The drop any negative argument regarding my advocate isn't checked in CX1. They're invited to the certified so can never time and have to cover all of them. Expect your job itself is meaningless. Second base may have alone, they have enough. Vote education for CX, otherwise, they have access to my direction. They promote to prevent me from accessing office to any scenarios federal law. So that law staff outweighs and inherency current laws have loopholes and armed compliance with Moscow 15. Many abuses keep the guns. Federal laws are not only procedure for guns rendered the loophole. Limited definition of abuse or handguns uniquely increase abuse. The NNA DV12. Handguns are most frequently used weapon. IPV homicides. Handguns used in the same cases. Access to firearms. You don't have the 5% increase in the risk of independent partner homicides. Abuses have guns and sexes that inflict the most severe abuse. And solvency handgun bans improve the reduced IPV for 25%. Don't cause a substitution effects. Mosque 15. Take the political laws of 25% fewer. Domestic homicides. Gun homicides would be killed. Do not replace guns with other weapons. This A outweighs empirical evidence. Outweighs A sub point. Empirical evidence outweighs a baseless conjecture. B sub point co op terms. Even if some harms and net effects are positive. C sub point is specificity. IPV is a particular form of handgun violence. So only evidence specific to it can dress often see display. It's broad based evidence that checks any anomalies. Okay, interview. The state is inevitable and indispensable part of social solutions. Accuracy of four. Drawing from the role of states play in global domestic affairs. Given that states are basically relying on policy given on the state, uh, uh, rejecting states from policy conduct prohibit increasing to an expectation of potential. Whether they can play a solution, no states can set the major states' sites priority to the future and the state transformation will be necessarily be state defended to be unhelpful to communities on the state, particularly fixated on the state, the redesign of the state's expense of other institutions. Political power concentrated in the state is pervasive to each other. It constitutes an independent medieval shaping larger society that is seen in good sequels to advance the awesome agency power. Questions of prior knowledge are relevant to world policy, specificity of our internal and screws and necessity of action. Cotage low eight. If I might not begin on ontology and phenology with action, we don't have the luxury of deferring action. Uh, 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 we, we don't have uh, the deferring action from the GPF to action. It's always used under the time pressure of the and incomplete information. Please remember, I'm shortcutting, informing action. It's not restricted to action based on the incomplete information. Pragmatic strong point promises that we will learn to follow the course of action that represents a good bet. The challenge for changes in a knowledge and more coherent fashion. The false promise method is that the path of message will always lead to secure uh, more knowledge. And non concrete action is worse than nothing. No frame can be found from the question of the next question of concrete. Also, that these are less effective actions. Brian 12. Critiques are right, but we need to produce new clips because resolution is the greatest benefit that countless could be more distracted people to any other We never make content proposals for new material and potential. How would you do anything we would all want to make no content proposals? If you want a revolutionary contribution, this is where you should start. Otherwise, anyone about to listen to you. If you aren't proposing real plans, we need less reason, not the problem, and so we need is competition carpentry. Uh, theory interview, one. A competing interest just by theory into your RBS a competitive kind of creation of one. Theory says, for instance, A, comp- a competing interest in your best method, B, support theory says, you being held accountable for an argument, let them down if the theory is abusive, by excluding me from running legit arguments. Phrase the same reason you vote me down for being abusive. And six point one year strike without an RBA would be horrible, which becomes impossible to be creating a war storm. Second violation to your theory must stem from substance of argument approved by the interview. In other words, the my offense will function under their terms. No violations is A. There is only a meaningful back of substance of arguments in the run since the interviews themselves create no bad way whether they just frame like the ballot. Thus, different interviews are considered honest, can't find any offense for the ballot. B point, all the things that being more than should have just an abusive that just means I'm forming under multiple interviews, including both parts and C point. That I said the ability to run mutual exclusive T and three interviews such absence of the negative opposition to the topical. Thus, after the recourse, they can't create a clear app strategy against a bi direction interviews. Third, for a reasonable app interpretation, as long as it's scholarly, I've used my plan in terms of the resolution and it's because my wiki reasons for A point. That's good. Reasonable determinants of the fact that my right evidence user top scoring and it's predictable. And when it's subject to a few guys, and they should be able to engage in position B point, I'm in the top split. And that's because it's on them. If they don't engage, that's the impact of the loss. That's how it is. A marginal abuse like is negative. And since C point, they are solving enough to check all abuse and to respect the game of the rights, which means that this frame is to check back any engagement risk you. Fourth, drop the debater makes it impossible to disproportionate since the no abuse they could have committed made it impossible for you to win. But drop the uh, debate, drop to the debater makes it a game over the issue which overplanned. Sure, reciprocity outweighs since A point is competitive activity and thus a zero sum game. B point is outweighs any potential benefits. No, uh, no uh, benefit possibly outweighs the whole ballot. Uh, fifth, only specific reading is coherent since if say dogs are ugly, it makes no sense that drives some dogs were cute. Clearly, two warrants. Subjects to identify the object of assertion, identification is a form of knowledge exists in a particular identity with many other phrases. Identify also unique identities, presupposition of
all into people's good pleasure scares, including the best apps, Goosey app. You can be one app, a triple band that gives the next unlimited pick, and this grounded you on uh, 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 unlimited next strategy to switch each grab these being able to actually enforce it doesn't change what the actual app actually is. Be someone side by side if the app is a hard answer, that's a good thing. The app is always at a disadvantage. So having an app that can reasonably answer common decisions is that is vital. Side by side that ways from structural verified issues, pre rings substance of VC point, preempt all their fair and fair organs according to PDI one and six apps or IPV means the most popular apps you can change. And side by side changes the essence as the app is proliferated empirically denies abuse games. Uh the decent education discussion IPV is that possibly important. IPV continue because people young people aren't discussing and getting educated about it. This means that the app is best for discussion Wolf and Jaff ninety nine. IPV is learned uh, behavior that is modeled by cultural prevention strategies and uh, introduce uh, new values thinking related think process relations that produce uh, healthy relations to adolescents only time with social conditions social dynamics again develop a greater understanding of increase knowledge about dating balance and issues positive changes in social data in debate about dating balance uh, self-reported to decrease in crime the whole resistance solve kills clash and deals with talk about other things only the staff focus on games and reject a uh, link of a mission or vague prior questions they create hierarchies of oppression that devolve critical strategies struggles and professional olympics mcdonald's and coleman 99 Group discriminate against members of the group to leave the own uh, most important hierarchy of suppression occurs in the notion that the measure can be increased all ultimately proper social suppression simulating social conflict between groups hierarchy of suppression experience can only be counteracted through anti oppressive groups and if theoretical trade reprising the acceptability of hierarchy includes that the supremacy narrowly is supposed to be shown on civil issues of oppression is dangerous because they're dangerous and false stimulation to keep the political activists otherwise be seen as political and breach in the system covers 25 control the government exactly what the citizenry is supposed to be all about outside the question most, most, most uh, personal political activists have lost be narrowly to untake political power according to those who do lend the language of power um, role playing promotes active voting levels of power simulation of public realm far more power than abating all power the government should by teaching students something to do ever make a difference. Separate party difference and uh, I'll send more uh, spikes. After one year, I think that's the only way to rectify abuse because if the NC, if I can't check abuse in the NC, that feels right. And medically, I was determined the legitimacy of the original shot in the first place. And um, uh, after abuse, I was uh, negative abuse, I was after abuse because there's already so much harder than seven, four, six times. So you mean that it becomes possible that after leverage abuse comes through, after your has to reverse. I do six times. Uh, after it's one year, theory, um, medical. Sure, Can you check that? Um, okay, let's start. Well, I'm so confused about the order we read this in. Uh, let's Case. just look at the stuff that's like uniquely like substantive, topical. Does that only? Can I delete everything under? Let's say I'm not going to read a K and I'm not going to read theory. Can I delete everything under K and review? Or T. Or yeah, obviously. Um, okay, so the only. Let's look at like the actual like solvency that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, so, first off, this just closes this loophole. Who does the loophole affect? Uh, dating uh, people who are d uh, dating and not in not in marital relationships. Does it affect, for example, uh, teenagers who are being abused by their parents? Um, if I mean, do you want to take a stance on that? It's not a theoretical question. I'm just asking you what your plan text does. I mean, I, I d just depends on your definition of IPV. I, I, like, what do you want me to defend? I want you to know what your pl tell me exactly what your plan text is. The plan text says the United States federal government ought to ban the private ownership of individuals for uh, of handguns for individuals con convicted of misdemeanor level stalking crimes and individuals convicted of intimate partner violence against a dating partner. Okay. Enforcement is through mandatory conversation. So this would not help, uh, like, kids who would kids being abused by their parents since they're not in a dating relationship with their parents clearly. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it, like unless how it's like incest rule, then I don't uh, think a parent child relationship is intimate, like in that sense. How do partner. you, um, like? So it does. If you have never committed a crime before, and this is your first offense, uh, you can you can still buy a handgun to commit the first offense, I mean, right? Like obviously, the app can't like look into the future. Okay, let's look at the. Uh, what's where's the solvency? Uh, the NNEDD card shows that we need to limit access to handguns because handguns are the most frequently weapon used in IPV, and uh, access to firearms increases at least a five hundred percent increase in risk of intimate partner homicide. How many people are we talking about? Like, uh, how many people is this going to affect? I don't have a particular number. Well, like, a lot? A little? Like, how many? I'm going to go for a lot, because this is my app. All right, so a lot of people. Um, let's look at the uh, Masha card. Where's the warrant for why it doesn't cause a substitution effect? It's just an empirical claim that in the states where this is influenced. All right, so what's the methodology? Uh, I don't know the methodology offhand. I assume that it just looked. Can you find the methodology? Sure. But I mean, I can just like kind of summarize the methodology is that like looked at states when there were like, where there were bans on like where this app was implemented, and it shows that twenty five percent of IPV was. What reduced. are the control factors? Um, let me see. Uh, that's the study. Can you summarize it for me? I have not. I have not read every nick of the study. If you want me to give you my understanding of the study, okay. It's so that you it showed, said it, it takes a it broad base of evidence. How broad? Fifteen states. Okay. Four or five. Uh, 
tapo. There's nothing that theoretically prohibit me from reading an alternative uh, like rule of the ballot or framework, right? Uh, no. Doherty? No. Has this plan ever been implemented in a state? Yes. Is this legislation federal? Yeah. 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 One ten left. The next order is going to be NCAC. What? NCAC. God damn it. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> Do I have to take prep for flashing? Too late. Yeah. It's okay. I'll try not to take too much time. Ah, oh, so the order's NCAC. We missed it. <laughs> <laughs> what round is it? Round three? Yeah. It's a 2011 strike. Were you even alive in 2011? You never did question. Am I older than you? <laughs> really I'm not sure if I'm even alive in 2011. It's kind of like Just clear from my memory. Just drugged out haze. <laughs> I'm getting it up. One in CR. Oh, what did you do? No, it's a no, it's a like an HTML link. It's a bad, bad thing. Oh crap! I closed. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't. What's wrong with it being an HTML format? Yeah. Do you have anything against HTML? Yes, because it just opens up the tab in Chrome and then it's like, oh, it can't open this document. 
Oh, you need the gun. Yeah. There's going to be some random analysis that makes no sense in light of this case, but we'll just skip that. <laughs> I would expect no less from you. <laughs> These suck. <laughs> These suck too. You were talking about your skipping thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I negate liberty, future, morality, ethical system, do not, mean, do not maintain liberty as they're setting forth bill because they make impossible to accomplish moral culpability. You will intend. The capacity to choose between alternative methods is necessary for morality to be some better praise and blame. Praise and blame would not make sense to be held responsible. A nation must be the ultimate source of a choice. If I choose an act in accordance with principles, I choose action that is given to shape by freedom. All humans are entitled to their own conception of good life, respect for equality of human persons, and commitment to specific and negative rights where it is impossible to improve those one's will coercively upon another. Freed, uh, gen oh, five, gen modified. What makes a human moral human beings their individual capacity to value individuals are all equally valuable in this way. But the uh, good of, uh, of the other is worth no more than mine because it, she, she, she is not worth more. Uh, there is therefore a not right of mutual non interference. Nobody can interfere with. Uh, another person to help achieve her own good if the other person does not voluntarily chosen to enlist in that campaign. I contend that banning handguns is inconsistent. Oh, so the standard is uh, the respect for the rights of non interference. I contend that banning handguns is inconsistent with the rights of non interference. Davis 15. Uh, handguns are either an intrinsic part of someone's, uh, of some person's good or uh, are necessary means uh, to the good. Uh, for many people, few interests are more fundamental than the right to a handgun. Many citizens participate in shooting sports and can do other things, but that would be to adopt uh, a different set of values uh, than. Uh, First, uh, start at the framework the Trafonis Code is just uh, is not specific to a judges and debate. It's it just talks about educators and these in this round in particular you don't have to you don't have to form a critical evaluation of oppression because they can just do that in the classroom. It's not uniquely the space in which we need to do this. Second, uh, the uh, only way that we can actually combat oppression is if we have a like a substantive methodology to do it because uh, states are super corrupt and they're always going to abuse it unless we give them a specific way that we can they can determine what is oppressive and what is not oppressive. Oppressive is very vague like language. I give you specific reasons about how a specific way that they can never abuse other uh, never abuse this power, which is by never interfering with its citizens. Then on the uh, Stanley O2 card about social inclusion. Uh, uh, a, uh, ethics form the basis of social inclusion. Uh, the, 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 the idea of social inclusion just begs the question of what it means to be included. Uh, uh, the second is it forms, uh, B, uh, it uh, forms the basis of social inclusion because it uh, uh, ethics treat all people equally. For example, the government couldn't interfere in, uh, in one person's life uh, to uh, protect another person's life, which means that it ensures that all people are treated equally, which is the only way that we can ensure social inclusion because otherwise uh, biased agents in the government are always going to, uh, are always going to like fuck it up unless we have a, some sort of universality. Then um, the C, uh, the state of uh so then C is the argument uh, that um, we need to look to moral agency. Moral agency is a prior question of social inclusion because uh, there's no uh, individual agent that can uh, serve to include people if um, they don't have moral agency, which means that, uh, like, sure, it, it's a great noble value if everyone is included in society, but we need to have one person take responsibility for including those people in society. That means that we need moral agency. Otherwise, everyone, uh, there's, no reason to uh, this, uh, there's no reason to step up and there's no one that's actually going to do it. You uh, make this argument that uh, the state should care most, uh, care most about people's interests, but for my, uh, my, uh, my actor specificity argument, which is that the state specifically needs to be regulated through rules because otherwise, uh, for example, we have the Constitution, otherwise the state would not act in the interest of its people. Um, let's look down here. Um, uh, on the... Uh the argue on uh, don't let him try to apply apply the uh, the uh, policy the coverstone five argument about policies uh, simulation uh, it just says that we we say the political if we uh, if we don't do policy simulation sure we can still do policy simulation under my uh, deontological framework it just has to be a policy that aligns with the uh, with the uh, with the particular uh, standard that I propose which means that we can still have policy action for example I can evaluate your policy and say that it uh, interferes with the right uh, interferes with. Uh, Right, so it violates non-interference, so uh, that still works then. Uh, additionally, don't let him uh, cross-apply the Bryant analysis. We're talking, we're talking about non-concrete activism. This is not non-concrete activism. In fact, it provides us a very specific lens for determining whether or not something is uh, ethical or unethical. Second, it is uh, second. It's always preferable to take. Um, to t uh, it's always preferable to think before we take action because otherwise we always take bad action. For example, a revolution that uh, ends up, a revolution that ends up in leading to worse rights violations is worse than no revolution at all. So we should always uh, form a, uh, a coherent theory first. Then case proper. I can't find it. Um, 
No solvency handgun things can solve for smuggling illegal, ma illegal manufacturers Kramer 03. Even in jails where prisoners of Soviet guns sold cocaine in the early 90s, inmates were shooting themselves and suing the city for inadequate protection. Any medium sized town could make sufficient handguns to satisfy criminals, even though gu with a guns, legal, uh, guns legal and illegal manufacturing goes on. The average killer has a long history of criminal conduct. 21% of murders were 1900 who couldn't lawfully purchase a handgun. The average murder is already breaking laws by buying a handgun. As long as handguns are available on the black market, criminals will buy them. This is, uh, this is supercharged by the fact that you talk about people who are already offended. This talks about how criminals are uniquely good at getting uh, their hands on weapons because one, they can uh, they often go to jail for killing. If you got uh, if you got convicted of stalking or like uh, hurting your partner, you would go to jail, which means you'd have an even better connect. Uh, you'd have even better connections with the house if they get weapons. Second, it talks about how uh, people don't follow the laws when they're, when they're getting handguns. So the, you, like uh, the enforcement mechanism is not going to be uh, not going to be good enough, and the, these people are still going to be getting their hands on weapons at an even higher rate than the general population. Then uh, that uh, next that just gets robust. So underground uh, manufacturer makes handguns cheaper and more available to criminals. David 15. Police in Europe saying that say that gun banning has failed in law enforcement agencies finding out quickly that criminals cannot obey gun laws. They simply buy illegal arms from a robust underground market. In many places, pr prices, uh, uh, many cases, the prices you pay underground are less expensive than the nation provides the same arms can be purchased through legal avenues. Charles in uh, Europe have been able to arm themselves with weapons that typically cost 20000 in the U.S. to acquire legally, but on the underground uh, market, these weapons would be available for under 1000 Go into the uh, weighing analysis under the MASHA evidence. Uh, one, uh, this uh, all uh, discard this study because it specifically happened. It happened in only certain states. Clearly, the states that are passing these gun control legislations are people who like their guns less because they're voting for representatives that will uh, pass legislation for this. So it means that they're already predisposed to not one, not use guns to uh, injure their spouses, and two, give up their guns, uh, which uh, is. Uh, proves that it's, it's, a, it's a biased study. Uh, then second, uh, IPV reduction can be attributed to many things. There's no uh, specific way to study the dynamics of different uh, within different couple relationships. It means it's impossible to control all the factors because you can't actually look into the uh, specific lives of the people, which means that they, uh, like things could have just been happening in the lives of those people that caused that to be uniquely, uh, uh, caused that to be like a uniquely important time for them to like, or a, a time that they would want to abuse their spouse more than other times. Then uh, on the argument about empirics, one disregard for empirics because empirics because they don't tell the whole story. Empirics could, uh, you can never control for all the factors when you're talking about a study like this is as big as a state. Uh, the, then on the B effect, you just say that the net effect is positive. Clearly the net effect is not positive if I'm winning case turns because that proves that the net effect is, uh, like if I'm winning case turns that like straight turn your impacts, clearly the net effect is not positive. Uh, then you say that the Eureka statistics are specific to IPV. Uh, this seems to be uh, more, even more problematic because it doesn't analyze the, uh, like the, the, the way that people actually think when they, they're, uh, it, it doesn't. Uh it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It means that we're the study size is too small. Which it means that study size is too small. Which means that uh, we don't actually understand the way all people uh, use guns. Which means that when we apply it to a larger study size, since we could only study this specific group of people, it'll be less accurate. Then you make this argument that it's more broad because it's 15 states. But the David card uh, studies a bunch of people in Europe, which is uh, the, which has a broader study size. Then next, handgun bans cause a shift to less sawed-off long guns, which increase in the murder rate. Criminal three. Handgun bans increase murder rates instead of using handguns. Criminals use sawed-off long guns, making a handgun require skill cutting a shotgun, uh, shotgun down to only requires a hacksaw since a shot off lock gun is substantially more deadly even the robbery rates stayed the same murders would increase and the most rigorous and comprehensive study in gun control literature, literature finds that gun laws increase crime rates fewer oh three lot and buzzer conducted a study on the effects of non-discretionary laws on a crime rates lot study uses 3054 times in the united states since 1977 to uh, 19 yeah 92. 92. i don't know you didn't mean anything below that nope did you skip anything in this talk nope yeah ready Walk me through the NC framework warrants. What's the warrant in the first card? Sure. Uh, the warrant in the first card is that um, if we can't make our own decisions, then we can't be held responsible for those decisions. For What's example, the impact if, of culpability? Uh, what do you mean? What's the impact of culpability? Why do we uh, care about holding people accountable? That's what the Yulman card is telling us. Like for, it means I'm that asking we, for the warrant. We can never take a moral action. Why not? Uh, because, for example, if you take my hand and cause me to stab someone, you wouldn't say that I'm morally culpable for that. If we can't make our own decisions, we can never have judgments about whether our actions were moral. But that seems to be caring about like whether like we're judging whether certain people will do good things or not, not whether we should adopt a policy that will cause certain consequences to occur. No, the argument is that if we violate people's liberty, uh, we get rid of morality like in the world. Because, uh, for example, uh, like if we take away, uh, if we if we take away people's uh, like right to act morally, or we force them to act morally, then it's not like a true act of morality. Why do we care yeah. about true acts of morality like that? Uh, because if we don't have responsibility for our own actions, we cannot act in a moral manner. Okay, but that presupposes we need to like increase consistency with like acting in a moral manner. Like, well, yeah, I think we want to act in a moral manner. Okay, what's the warrant in Freed? Uh, the warrant in Freed is that all people have their own idea of what's a good life, so we should allow them to choose what it is. What if my idea of a good life is to like murder people? Um, that would that would not be ethical. Because why do we care about people's Why do we care about people's preferences? We care about people's preferences because one agent can never uh, 
speak for all the people in the population. Okay, but what if my preference is that guns would be banned and yours preference is that it's not banned? Why do we care about people's preferences? How do we evaluate? It's not preferences in that sense. It's preferences about what they can do. Like their actions. Why do we care about agents' take. desires? Why? What was the question? Why do we care about agents' desires? Ah. Uh, if the, I want to kick puppies, why do we, why do you want to respect that? If I uh, want to like shoot up heroin, like why so do you want to respect example, that? So, for example, like kicking a puppy, for example, would be okay. probably inconsistent the, with the right to non interference, right? Why do we care about people's preferences in general? Uh the argument is because one agent cannot totalize the preferences of all people. Okay, that seems to rely on preferences being relevant in the first place. Why do we care about totalizing people if preferences don't matter? Uh, people cannot... I don't understand the question. You say that... That's fine. Um, what's the bright line on rights? Don't know what that means. Like, do I have a right to murder you? No. So then what's the bright line on rights? That does not clarify your question. Like, where do our rights begin and, like, others be... Uh, like, why do, where do our rights end and others begin? I still do not understand. Can you, like, give an example or something? I mean, I tried. But, like, what things do we have rights to under the NC? Uh, you have rights to not be interfered with. Okay. How do I turn the NC if the app is necessarily an action? I don't know. How do you want to turn the NC? I'm asking you how is the NC not a nib because it says that non interference is the only thing that's relevant, but the app is an action which will always automatically interfere with people. Uh, do you want artificial sufficiency? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, four minutes or five minutes? Three, two, four. Well, I told you. So artificial sufficiency means if I beat back the NC framework, then I win. That's not what artificial sufficiency And what is artificial sufficiency? Uh, it means proving that there is no violation uh, is offense under the NC framework. The only terms you read were illicit marketing substitution, right? Mm Are you reading anything? Yeah. Uh, the order is NCAT.
Good intent to the NC friend. One can see fallacy version just because something is pure because something is more valuable. If I need what, if I need a philosophy, the water has to tell me to philosophy more valuable than the water because the AC collapses, the advanced collapse in the AC second. This presupposes culpability is relevant. Holding people accountable to actions is irrelevant. That presupposes that like, we care about people taking moral actions about whether maximizing the status of moral actions and the status of moral actors in the first situation that they this, uh, is, is a huge missing link in the NC framework. Third, this, uh, this, this, this doesn't make any sense because uh, the, uh, um, sorry, th third, this, presuppo this presupposes that uh, uh, identity uh, that includes uh, includes sorry inclusion is a prior question because we uh, nobody respects people's rights if inclusion isn't respected because the AC uniquely outweighs the NC. Fourth, this uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the my, my fourth, there's a reduction in the street because we, there's no way to determine individual identity because uh, knowing something about myself presupposes some knowledge about myself is which means that any time uh, any time to, uh, to talk about it, uh, the person identity will inevitably fail, which means that this collapses the identity between different agents. No distinction between agents means the only thing that matters is the experience of the agents having, which means the NC collapses into the AC. Uh, uh, fifth, this presupposes that states of affairs are more relevant than the status of status as agents are more. Uh, uh, this presupposes that status as inviolable agents is more relevant than not being violated in the first place, which conflates the two distinctions, which means that there's no distinction between not being violated and, and having good. Uh, uh, having uh, having rights to uh, uh, to well, well well being sex uh, sex all agents want to maximize well being uh, bad uh, which uh, well well being because they all care about their own circumstances that's the only thing we need, we can universalize uh, except the preferences don't matter they presuppose that preferences are relevant but the only argument is that there's nobody to people's preferences but they presuppose that people's preferences are relevant if they are that means that we should look to the AC uh, contention one turn all actions are looking to the NC the practical reason is inherent in action in an agency then every action we take is reason reason, reason practically good second turns and handguns are inherently violent the function of the handguns should be inherently violent uh, inherently violent someone else who will kill someone is worse than violation denying rights because it's worse ability to pursue any end lawful like okay guns are inherently violent Guns were designed to cause harm. They change. You make them more efficient, causing harm. Redesigning automobiles makes them less dangerous. You cannot set the same for guns. They advocate private ownership of guns. May prevent crime in the armed militia because they're effective means of inflicting and threatening harm. In certain ways, it's important even if the intention for certain things should just be looked to directly hard cause harm. Is inherent nature of action because something that the, the inherent nature of action has to determine its value. For example, being a good tennis player does not necessarily make you a good chess player. It has to be something about the intrinsic nature of action determines value judgments. Which is that intrinsic nature determines. Uh, Bees' point is that you do not make a bright line for when we have rights to things. Which means you have to default to this. Also, the NC is irresolvable. Which means that this is the only way to possibly value the NC's point. Even if people use uh, guns for non-violent reasons, that changes the purpose. Objects and have external. Uh, uh, external Uses to their intrinsic aim, but the government legislation can something uh, just fight on its inherent use. For example, I can uh, use a baseball bat to be someone up at the main. The use is a battery, so the government can ban it. Uh, point turn there. There's no absolute right to private property. Existing property rights is contingent on states' existence of a general rule. So there's no claim to property held against the state. This is terminal defense would aid and turn reasons why guns are bad. Uh, right to property presupposes uh, the lead of the state of nature has to be proficient. They're either determined in non enforceable agents or determined right to property requires a property to claim, but they're also to question about other people's claims. The only declaration can be made of right to against the general rule. This set ways a uh, category of general rule. This uh, any maxim that endorses the state of nature's greatest contradiction of reason that defeats the purpose of rights of right. Rooks no nine. No one's bound to the encroaching one another to the nature. Those intended nature do the wrong to the highest because the card arrives to be and turn the NC because a sub uh, people want government political consequences. Do you know it all 2008? These studies provide strong evidence that outcomes that can fuel judge ethically about other people's behavior. Leave people's decisions in other different ways. People use it as a type of judge and decision. I can determine whether the decision quality. Also, drop the NC for theoretical reasons, but also determine because AC is necessary in action, which will violate people's rights because it can follow the choice of NC. So, artificial, 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 doesn't, artificial sufficiency doesn't solve because there's no way I can deny the obligation to kill my strategy and kill my engagement. The engagement is key. Then, so yeah. Extend Mas F two in fifteen fifty the exact policy but actually decrease by twenty percent there's no substitution effect. Extend the fact that the, the uh, empirical evidence outweighs your baseless conjecture because that's the only way that we actually do she said this is impossible so it's actually impossible to uh, determine whether people are like or people are relevant. That doesn't make any sense because it's obviously a good study. Like, it's always better conjecture. Conjecture has nobody exclude for external available because it's just conjecture. Then uh, uh, there's definitely outweighs also extending polls to understand the state is the most inclusion that we consider the most people's interest as possible to inclusive inclusive society and this means that polls is the highest thing to frame that was conceded in the NC and seventy four percent of people are from according to MSNBC also turns the NC because she says that individuals' interests matter because it's key to the consider most people's interests. Then uh, on your substitution markers one I control uniqueness because in the neck world, all the reasons still get guns. Listen market means that some men still get guns because this is defense. All these make it hard to get guns. Second turn, the listen market relies on legal supplies and handguns. Dix 93. Legal, uh, maybe seen carnivals are turning guns are dependent on legal handguns. My personal strength is high and keep the guns out of the law. Practice required. And on substitution, one plus one by Mazda 2. This is a pretty good Second, no substitution for IPV because you can't have a rifle and shotgun on your pillow if you use. It'd be possible. Dix 93. The price factor is peculiar to handguns. People can hardly be on the way that the person uh, with the carrying shotgun or rifle. The ease of pulling the trigger and uh, uh, putting a gun makes it uh, more less to murder by the time those subjects gone between their gun. The violence lets the victim escape. And third, extend NNDP handguns uniquely heat with other weapons no matter. Also, on the frame defenses, you say that this question, but Stanley very clearly says the social inclusion of the prior question you're making any norms of uh, uh, epistemology at because the prior question making any normal normal time. Uh, one time left. Uh, can you actually mark the cards first and say where they're marked? I didn't catch. I think it was I marked one. all them during the speech. Okay. Can you show which ones you didn't read or which ev like which of everything you didn't read? Um, I read everything in the speech doc. Yeah. But okay. I marked the cards. Do you want to just use my computer? Did you read the, all the substitution stuff? Would you please oh, tell yeah. me which cards you marked and where? Sure. The wood card Should I marked at recognition by the general will. The yeah. Ripson card I uh, I marked at do wrong in the highest degree. Okay. Uh, I, I deleted the last word that I read. I think it's degree, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, and then. Did you mark either of the two cards in case? No. Okay. Uh, okay. What was the polls argument? Your argument in cross examination is that we need to be consistent with people
Okay, so if I win the NC, then we look to pulse. If I'm losing the NC thermal, we don't give a shit about pulse, right? The pulse are relevant to the AC because they said that state inclusion is key. And Where do you even read a poll? In the 1AR. Oh, it was on my extension of evidence, but it's just like a poll with an MSNBC site. Did you read it in the yes. I, in the AC? No. I read it. There was a pulse trigger in the app. Where? Under Stanley. It said that including people's views in society is the best. That's the only way to make sure that okay. their views are considered. Just gonna be on the AC. Uh, starting with an extension of Kramer. AC and B, you think? Um, just AC. Okay. Actually, it's gonna start on the pulse. Yeah. Start on the polls, the wording of the spike is really bad in the first page. You just said that you have to include people's views. Sure, I agree we have to include people's views, but it doesn't specifically say that we have to include the majority of people's views. It's a significant difference between this, for example. I might say that including people's views, since I'm a woman, I might mean that it means including women's views. Well, you may say, uh, whereas you may say that include, it means including men's views, it means that there's no uh, people's views, doesn't have one particular meaning. Second, uh, in including people's views means including all people's views, clearly. Uh, uh, means that, uh, but uh, people who are on the margins of society might not be in the uh, uh, position to express their views. For example, women who are uh, uh, survivors of intimate partner violence might not be in a position position to be able to express their opinions on such a sensitive matter, which means that if we're actually including all people's views, then uh, uh, the, 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 if we're actually including all people's views, then we have to be especially sensitive to the position of people who are in oppressed positions. We can't just look to a poll that counts for the majority of people, which means that the actual way that we should determine uh, what people's views are based on which would best help the uh, most oppressed people, because those are the people that don't get to speak out in society the most. Three, uh, don't uh, don't uh, don't uh, vote off the spike because it uh, included because uh, including people's views does not necessarily uh, mean uh, does not necessarily mean a poll. There's plenty of ways that we can, uh, we can include people. Uh, there's plenty of ways that we can include people's views. Uh, fifth, it, uh, for, exa for example, we could like uh, read a newspaper and be like, oh, the two people who wrote this article uh, have this view. That would be including people's views. And Ned never says any of them. We have to include all people's views. And uh, fifth, uh, there's uh, th like this study in and of itself does not include uh, if, if you're in a double line because either uh, we could consider two people's views and consider that considering people's views or including people's views means including all people's views in the entire world. And since your poll did not uh, survey the entire United States and it does not include all people's views, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a double line here about what you meant. By the wording of including people's views, either you meant it could be a small subset, in which case it could be a very small subset. For example, uh, I uh, and all the other people who are affirming, uh, I and all the other people who are negating in this round say that we should not have handguns, or it has to be an infinitely, uh, has to be an infinitely large amount. You should have made this spike a lot clearer. Next. You do not do, do nearly enough work on the AC. You seem to assume I'm going to go for the NC. So first, let's look on your uh, argument. Uh, first, let's look on your argument about the uh, uh, illicit market. First, you said you control uh, the uniqueness because uh, in the neg world, uh, all uh, all of uh, in the neg world, all abusers can get uh, guns, and illicit market means uh, some might still get guns, but that's. It's, it's clearly not defense because my argument is that more people are going to get guns because they're going to be more easily accessible. The uh, card is very specific and very good on this matter. It specifically says that uh, handguns can't sell for uh, smuggling and legal manufacturers. Are conceding all the weighing that I do about how uh, who people who are committing intimate partner violence are going to be uniquely able to uh, get these handguns. It's going to make them more accessible because if they when they go to jail, they have connections that will get them into these markets that will allow them to get them uh, more freely. Additionally, uh, you are conceding the argument how about how easy it is to get these guns and how criminals uniquely for uh, how criminals uniquely are the ones who are getting these guns. Which means that uh, there is offense. You are not controlling the unique. You, you are not controlling the uh, uniqueness in this matter because, uh, in, like in the negative world, uh, abusers can get guns even more easily because uh, abusers can get guns just as easily uh, or uh, more easily. Um, and that's so just as easily is coming out of the Kramer 03. Uh, more easily is coming out of the fact that they are abusers and therefore go to jail. And uh, the additional offense come off comes off of the uh, David 15 evidence. The David 15 evidence takes a robust study coming out of all of Europe and talks about how the price is much lower. You say that the uh, you try to make this argument that the uh, that the illicit markets rely on illegal supply, but this is impossible because the um because, well, I also one it doesn't matter because there are uh, still already countries in the world where there's going to be illegal supply. So even if we have to get it from like a country really far really far away, there's still going to be some legal supply that's going to come into uh, the country. Second. Uh, 
Uh, second is Europe. A, a large number of countries in Europe, the entire European Union banned it in all, in all these, in 30 European countries uh, all together. It showed that the uh, there is still, uh, there's a robust underground market where uh, the handguns are much cheaper. This is uh, one that preference because it's the largest, it's the largest scope. It's even larger than your, the scope of your Masha set. Of your Masha set, you don't do any analysis here, but you say that impaired is important. So if you're winning, then impaired is important. Then we should look to the David 15 evidence that talks about, uh, then use it. Uh, second, we should uh, look to, uh, we should look to evidence by the police because the police can look at crimes that haven't been committed at the uh, crimes that they prevent from being committed, whereas uh, general surveys can't look into studies that haven't been committed yet, but the police, uh, the police obviously can, and uh, so, like, this, uh, the number one point under illicit market is that you control the uniqueness. You, uh, may control the uniqueness, but I'm still getting offense, uh, because they can get it more easily because it's cheaper. Um, then, on your argument that it relies on illegal supply of handguns, there is still a legal supply, and, uh, it's enhanced because it's cheaper. Next, let's, oh, also, additionally, the legal supply is enhanced by the, uh, by the fact that we can just uh, have substitute weapons. Then, you try to, uh, you try to cross-apply the Masha card. You are conceding all the analysis that I do on the Masha card. For example, the Masha study is deeply flawed based on the fact that it's biased. It only considers certain states, and those st the states in which it was passed are clearly states that have fewer intimate uh, part, uh, people who are... Uh, fewer abusers because they are voting for legislators who will ban guns, which means that you have a bias in your sample size. Additionally, uh, you are conceding the argument that empirics are bad and that we have to study the uh, that you have to study the root cause because empirics can uh, empirics can never be completely controlled, which is uh, detrimental. You're also conceding the argument. Uh, you're conceding the argument that one, my David card is broader, and second, uh, you, yours is specific to IPV, which means that it has an even smaller uh, it has an even smaller subset of people in order to actually understand the pathologies of gun violence. We have to have a larger sample size. And in your argument about how uh, there's no substitution for IPV because you can't can't hide it. This is just silly uh, because one, a sawed-off shotgun could potentially be smaller. It depends on how, like, how much you saw it off. Second, you could just hide it under like a big coat or something. Uh, three, uh, the surprise factor is not even usually an issue in intimate partner uh, relationships because, for example, like, they will know that their partner has a gun uh, in most instances. Like that's not something that they'll keep from them, but they, uh, the, but it will still be up. Uh, the, 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 like the, the cycle of abuse makes it harder for them to leave. Uh, additionally, uh, you additionally. Uh, Combined with the uh, black market or the underground market, it seems to be uh, have very little. Uh, it, it, it seems to bolster that argument. Then, additionally, your argument is that uh, handguns are a uniquely common feature of IPV. This does not uh, rebut the claim that comes out of the Kramer card, which is that it's going to IPV abusers are going to switch uh, which weapon they use. It's literally a substitution effect. So, sure, shotguns are used right now, but uh, in the future they're going to replace them with these other things. You are not doing enough analysis on these cards. You assume I'm going to go for the NC. You are not responding to the analysis about why the Masha study. Your only solvency is really bad. I had 155. Um, the order is polls, then then the contention. Overview and polls, you continue the framework and the same the evidence says that inclusion is key, which means we need to include the most recent study. That's the only impact here. There are no consequences framing under the average. That's the only analysis. You did no way in between why your contention matters versus why we just need to look to aggregate of consequences. The only polls are relevant are do any way here than you affirm. So uh, polls are because the only way to include people's views in society. Otherwise, we're just ignoring them and trying to put them. Uh, we're just aggregating people, making them seem less valuable than other people, which means we need to be able to respect them as ends of themselves and make sure that their views are included in society. Otherwise, we could just include anyone in society. You first to the majority of you need to have the majority of views and no meaning. But yes, the majority of views are key because that's one. The only way we can include the most people in society. The same evidence says that if it's is key because the more people people include the more knowledge comes in inculcating second this is just defense obviously we would look at the majority of people because otherwise we would just be excluding people and randomly picking fewer people over other people that just, if it is exclusionary and unfair the Stanley evidence is really good on this question then you say that second people including people always use because uh, they're unable to express it but one this is just defense some people might not be able to express it but the, I have a lot of people expressing that that was a big study second polls check the fact uniquely because the people might not be able to gauge in consequences of however anyone can answer a poll because it's just a phone call we just doesn't judge uniquely key to including people inside you say that there are people that including people uh, that is impossible to include everyone but it doesn't make any sense because I'm including more people's voices and so that's obviously not powerful because only your 
people's app. I include more people's voices. You might. There might be a person. I don't know. I include every single person's voice. That's just defense. So we should obviously try to do whatever the best we can because that's the only thing we can know. Then on the fourth, uh, on, the, on your fourth argument, says that it's impossible because either I include everyone's views or no one's views. Cross with the argument. We should try to include the most views. Second, this is just defense because obviously it's impossible to include everyone's views. However, I can include the, the most possible views that we can, which is definitely not preferable than the NCU. Third, you're not reading any poll or counter poll, which is that I'm including public some people's voices. So only possible offense those after questions. So if I'm winning polls, basically we follow because there's no reason why consequences matter or the impacts of policy matter. However, I'm still the polls are uniquely key because if you reject people's views, then we're not treating them to either. try to treat them as viable people. Then let's go to the contention debate. You can extend the Mossy to evidence so that this immediately produces a reduced policy. You can extend the NNAT to evidence so handguns in the household and we need to reduce access to handguns. Otherwise, that leads to a 500% increase in homicide. You are losing substitute. You're losing legal markets. You can see the Dixon 93 evidence so that legal supply, illegal supplies are dependent on legal supplies because that's, that's how we get guns from the legal market to the illegal market. You're not doing enough work on this. You said this easily accessible one. You can see the illegal app. Anyone can buy guns in the next world. You said this easier to access, but there's no reason because it's 100% easy to access in the next world. The illicit market still exists. People still go to prison. The question is whether you increase the market or not. The best is just defense. I'm showing that you are you uniquely increasing the offense. I will concede that empirics are bad, which means that you your evidence goes away about Europe. The only thing that matters is the Dixon evidence, is that, which is an analytic study. Then you let's go to substitution. You conceded the uh, Dixon 93 evidence that they, it's concealability and the fact that infant partners need will know it. It's harder to just pull out a shotgun from your coat uh, and use it. You have to go and load it. It's a lot harder to do, which is becomes impossible to actually engage. Also, the second one is that you cannot hide a gun under your coat. You say it's easy to hide under the pillow, but you're conceding Dixon, which says that they're not concealable. You do not have answers to concealability. Concealability is an empirical claim, which means I'm winning that. Third, the, this is just risk of uh, this is just defense because uh, I'm showing that there's a massive homicide in the, in the status quo, which is reducing is the only way. Try it after the app. And fourth, you've conceded, you, you've conceded the first uh, impact shotgun. The IPP is specific because you cannot you cannot just hide a long gun under the pillow. This means that even if the shotguns are smaller, you have no impact. The shotguns are smaller. Shotguns are obviously bigger. Even if the Dixon specifically says that even shot off side of shotguns would still be worse. So this is how the round breaks down. Your defense, you are on Moscow, you can still vote on Moscow, even if Empirics is bad. This is just defense on why it's bad. If I'm would it be bad, both of your turns handling, which I clearly am because your list of markets are non unique and flow app and the then and substitution is not is just a joke impact that does not apply to IPP. Then you can't vote on the Moscow because all you should you only put defense Moscow if you don't want to vote on Empirics and vote on the and an ADP study which is limiting access to hangouts is uniquely key, but first vote on polls because that's key to inclusion.
You guys want to see any of my other things too? No, no. I also haven't decided if I'm going to look at that yet, but I want to just in case. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
kamu sih dari Jackson yang menang di Piala Dunia semuanya. Sama. Speaking dari apa? Exactly. There were two Jackson. I just tried to listen to my kids' substitutions. I do want to get a new laptop. What? I do want to get a new laptop. I'm too hungry to listen to the side B, so I can take it now. What's the point? No, come on. What's the point of watching if you're not going to stay at the end? It's going to be taped. I still saw your point. If you stay, I'll give you a cootie catcher. I what? This, a cootie catcher. Can you go to jail? I'm pretty close to it if you do want to catch it. You can't get a cootie catcher, though. I didn't want a cootie catcher. <laughs> In fact, I'm trying to get it fast. He wants cookies. Wait, cootie catchers give you cookies? Or you know, I don't really get like Is it like a preventative <laughs> measure or is it like, yeah, you want to catch them all? <laughs> you know what I thought of that? <laughs> like you like going to bed. split. Um, I voted neg. I will start. Um, I'm not going to vote on the polls a priori for two reasons. First, uh, I don't think any of the justifications for this argument are extended in the 2 and R because all the work that you do in the 1 AR and some of the way you spin it in, do you want to have this back? That's it. You can do both of them back. Uh, is, are all predicated on the NC. So what you say in the 1 AR is uh, polls are the highest layer, terms the NC because interests matter. We have to care about people's interests, so we have to care about the most people's interests. She's not going for an argument about interest because she picks the NC, which was the only justification in the debate that I saw. Maybe there was an independent argument in Stanley that was talking about people's uh, people's interests. But, uh, all of the rhetoric of it in the one hour seems to be like this is supposed to turn the NC. So I thought that there was a really great justification for it to begin with. Um, and then in the two AR, the way you extend the justification is well, we need to respect people as ends in themselves. We need to treat people valuably. None of that is uh, anything that your framework seems to care about when in the 1AR. I mean, it's just a complete flip. Because all of your 1AR, you make like consequences, good arguments, personal identities, not exist arguments. I mean, just blatantly contradictory arguments. 
which isn't a, which isn't on face a reason to exclude this. But when the two in R makes an explicit concession of one of those two points uh, in the contradiction, uh, I think that you have to do some work to convince me that that concession uh, should not she shouldn't be able to concede one part of these two contradictory arguments and, and take out the other one. Uh, the second reason I don't vote on it is I think she does have offense. Most of her arguments are very repetitive, just saying, oh, uh, you know, it's arbitrary how many people, I'm somewhat inclusive. But she does have offense in one place when she says that survivors of IPV can't express their opinions very uh, easily in the public sphere, so we need to over-represent their views. Um, and if they're really marginalized, then maybe we need to make decisions about what's best for their well-being to account for their views. Um, and then the two-way response to that as well is just defense, second, polls check because anyone can just answer a poll, just answer the phone. I think that's a little glib and not really uh, responsive to, I mean, everyone has agreed in this debate that people are marginalized by IPV, that they you know, do not have uh, the same kind of uh, access, I think, to the political, and there's no argument that's extended or cross-applied here, but I don't think, like, well, they can just answer a phone, so they're just as well represented as everyone else is really um, uh, what we want to say in this debate. Um, then the case debate. Uh, I vote on the illicit markets turn. I don't really evaluate um, substitution effect because I think this turn is sufficient. The empirics debate is kind of weird. I think both, it's unclear what we mean when we're like empirics are bad. And I, I get that you're, you know, there's the game that's playing aspect, like you throw this in a little bit in the one and see, maybe you go for it, maybe you don't. Um, the two AR concedes it, but I don't understand how it's supposed to take out David and not Dixon because Dixon says, um, well, the illegal market is predicated on the legal market. And is that an empirical claim? Or is he just like saying in theory, this is where the illegal market would come from? I mean, there is an illegal market now. That seems to be what he's talking about. So it seems to be an empirical claim. Same with the David evidence. It's not super, it's not like there's this robust study I did with the method. I mean, that's what the two in R says, but there's also this sort of anal uh, analytic argument that's just like, criminals will get these weapons, they'll find ways to do it, and they'll be cheaper because they're illegal. There's not a great um, explanation for what the warrant is, so I think in the two in R, if you're gonna go for empirics bad, um, or this kind of double bind, you should be really good on both, A, why your study is good, which I think you do a decent job of, and B, what the like, analytic explanation for why the price would be lower. Like, what is it about getting guns through legal means that makes it more expensive? Like, is it because they have to go through all these checks? Is it because everyone is taking a cut somewhere along the way, whereas it's more direct in the illegal market, so they're cheaper? Um, there's not a great explanation, but um, I think that this evidence is sufficient to turn the app because it's easier to get access to guns when they're cheaper. Um, the only, and, I, and I, ult, I, I just don't think that 2AR does very much analysis on this debate at all. All you say is, uh, well, it's dependent on the legal supply she conceded Dixon. I don't have a direct uh, line by line response where she says Dixon in the 2 and R, but she does have answers that like very obviously answer this. So um, when she says, I'm answering legal uh, illegal supply, I think she's answering Dixon. So her answers to that are one, um, I've made a claim about smuggling that they'll just get weapons from other countries. I don't have an answer to that in the 2, two AR. So there is still a legal market somewhere that brings in a bunch of illegal guns. And then second, uh, like I have this really good card that has really good uh, empirical evidence about 30 countries. So to circle back to my overview thing, I'm not gonna throw that out because I just don't know how I would apply it to exclude one through seven. So I think she has a weighing argument, she has an answer to it, and then your two AR is just like, well, this is dependent on legal supply conceded Dixon. Um, I think the prison argument, um, I think there's a risk of the, the prison argument as sort of weighing or more offense for, for the tuner. It's not great because uh, Noah just says, well, they're gonna go to prison anyway because they're abusers. So uh, you need to win a, a magnitude argument. What you should say is, well, they'll go for, to prison longer because of the gun charge, or they're more likely to go to prison because they're being charged on two counts mm -hmm. instead of just one. Um, so like concealability, uh, I, I just, none of that stuff really applies. Massive homicide, miss blow, try or die, doesn't really answer if you make it worse. Uh, I think that's it, there's the, there's the, the Masa evidence, so I could, I could have called that card and been like, oh, it's so good that it outweighs this like generic turn, which isn't really analysis that I get from the app. Um, the reason I don't do that is I have conceded this one and C argument that, uh, which I thought was kind of clever, 
that the places that Masa or Hansa or whatever is studying um, are, this is a, a bias sample because of the uh, representation that they've elected of people who already want to give up their guns and are already uh, in that sort of camp. So I think I talked about everything. Do you have questions? Nope. Go ahead, Tom. Um, so I divided this debate a little bit differently. Uh, I don't put as much stock in this uh, kind of illegal markets stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not super persuaded by the argument by, by the, uh, by the uh, polls argument um, for similar reasons. I don't really think that, like, it, it's unclear to me what framework this is supposed to link to or what this is supposed to impact back to. And uh, I can sort of echo the same thing about, like, how there are underrepresented or marginalized voices. Uh, and your 2 a response to that doesn't seem to mesh very well with the kind of stance you've taken in the 1AC framework. So. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna vote on the polls business. Um, I do think, however, that uh, I I evaluate the illicit markets stuff a little bit differently. Um, I think that uh, the the uh, like the Ill illicit market is inevitable uh, and it exists in the status quo. So like the impact to making guns cheaper is like very unclear to me. Um, I think that both sides could do a better job of explaining what this means in the context of this app, because in actuality, like the number of people who actually have their guns taken away post app is pretty small. So how this actually impacts the pre-existing legal markets and like gun smuggling that exists in the status quo is like super unclear. Um, but I think that the impact to illegal markets is, is small enough and the fact that the, I think the app is correct that it's inevitable, that the, uh, like the, the violence that's prevented as a result of the app uh, is enough to outweigh it. Um, I think that even if guns get a little bit cheaper, uh, the fact that we have like better enforcement and the fact that, the, that, act, like, m that access is more difficult uh, means that there's, less, there's net less violence post-app. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. That's I, I think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I think it was a close call. I think that, that if there had been more of that analysis on why you know the app-specific mechanism of enforcement is better, that that should outweigh the cost decrease. I just I don't know. Yeah. Very much cool. Thank you. Thank you.